So according to Stephen A. Smith's uh, sources, LeBron James, well, <clears throat> those close to LeBron James say that James <laughs> wants to beat Kyrie Irving's ass and be tempted to beat his ass if he was in front of him. Um... <laughs> Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. You can dish it out, but you can't take it, huh, James? The decision. You know what I mean? You ain't tell your teammates shit. You make a whole big spectacle of the shit. You know? Because it's all about you. But when someone disses you, in your mind, oh, all hell must break loose. Oh, boy. Well, the LeBron James fanboys masquerading as Cleveland Cavalier fans, you know, I understand they're going to be mad. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be dissing Kyrie all next year, talking about every bad shooting game he has like he did Westbrook this year, um, you know, talking about his assist totals. He's not a true point guard. I mean, I already see it coming a mile away. You know, every every y'all can kind of lay off of Westbrook a little bit because Westbrook team gonna be a little bit better this year. But you know, it'd be funny if the team Kyrie play on have a better record than the Cavaliers. <laughs> then what you gonna do, fanboys? Well, his team's more low. He has more help than LeBron. But I thought LeBron, you know, always drag a bunch of bones to the playoffs and shit. I mean, he's that great, right? Dragged a bunch of bums to the finals. Dragged a bunch of bums to the finals with the heat, even though y'all never get. That's the thing I don't like about you guys, man. That's why, even though I actually admire LeBron James' skill set, and I admire him as a person in a lot of ways, but my anger and hatred toward you guys have just tilted to the point where I can't, you know, I have to be honest. And, and I had to say, wait a minute, man. You know, I hate Golden State, but. These guys actually think I'm a, f a fanboy like them, and I'm not. I'm a realist, and you know some of you guys are okay, but when it comes to this guy, y'all kind of act suspect. You know when he was with Miami. Wade could be pouring in 30 points. Bosch could have a double-double, but it's all about LeBron. Never gave LeBron, never gave Wade or Bosch credit. Always criticized Bosch. The same pattern with Cleveland. Always criticizing uh, Kevin Love. So, for whatever reason, Kyrie doesn't want to play with LeBron anymore. The issue is LeBron. And LeBron can't handle it. And he's beating LeBron to the punch. He's like, fuck this. I'm not going to stay on this team and wait for this guy to make up his mind about what he's going to do. And then he's going to fucking leave, you know, after 2018. And I'm stuck on this fucking sorry ass team. Because he's demanded this guy get this amount of money, this guy get this amount of money, or he need to have this money, you know. Uh, Tristan Thompson, you know, he's with the Kardashians, he ain't really doing shit, but you know, he needs this money because I like him and I want to play along him because it's all about me, LeBron James. I like Josh Smith, it's all about me. So put, you know, so resign him for this amount of money. But you know, I'm gone in 2018. Bye, see you, Cleveland. All this fucking money that Kyrie be getting or they could be getting you know as far as additions is all tied up to you know what I'm saying to two mediocre fucking players yeah I'll be out there too bye nah I'm, I'm leaving you Mr. James Mr. Egotistical Maniac so LeBron wants to beat his ass wow that's some 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 bitch shit to be honest with you, man. Seriously, that's kind of some. You want to beat his ass because he doesn't want to play with you. Okay, this is a business, right? That's what you all guys always tell me. 
This basketball thing is a business. Why are you taking it that personal? Well, Michael, why you took it personal with Durant left? Well, I mean, I thought that was just fucked. I mean, I just, I never seen that before. Nobody ever seen a guy join a team that he just got eliminated by of that stature. You know, that, that, that doesn't show, in my opinion, competitive spirit. But that's ancient history. All right? Moved on from that. So LeBron needs to move on from the fact that Kyrie Irving doesn't like him. Okay? If he, want, if he was contemplating leaving that team after the title last year, then he really doesn't like LeBron James. Now, you know, I, I, I also don't want to make it seem like it, I, it could be Kyrie's the asshole. It, it's possible. I don't know these guys. Neither do you. But speaking objectively, like I said before, and I'll say it again, Kyrie Irving has every right to play for whomever he wants to. Now, he's not a free agent. But if I'm Cleveland, I don't want to have a guy on my team that I don't that he doesn't want to be there. Might fake, you know, I'm not going to say fake an injury, but uh, milk an injury just because he don't want to play there, not give his 100% because he don't want to be there. Could be a, become a, a distraction to a team because he doesn't want to be there. He wants to be traded elsewhere. And the season's not going on as the all season. Work on getting rid of him. Get something else in return. So, you know, that's that's just my two cents in it. You know, I mean, but we all know though. Theoretically, though, if they got into a fight, you know. LeBron James will be the shit out of the guy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just me, you know. I think LeBron James would, would, would fuck him up, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that's, that's sixth grade shit, you know, that schoolyard shit, you know. Supposed to have goons do that for you at that level. <laughs> and Stephen A. Smith is just, you know, he tends to exaggerate anyway, you know what I mean? Like, I I, I, I didn't even see him say it, you know. I don't, cause I don't really like watching uh, First Take much anymore, but I can just see him saying, you know, something like, um, And the sources I saw told me uh, uh, that, that LeBron James, uh, you know, I mean, the, the boy wants to put hands on him. I mean, the boy want to put hands on Kyrie at this point. And I, I mean, it's gotten that bad. You know, I could see him saying some shit like that. But tell me what you guys think.